I already put some footage on a vlog, but I'm outside right now. It looks like we got some rain coming. More. It was raining earlier, then it got sunny. It's sunny and pretty over here. And then a front coming in. Ah. Uh, hang on. There's a nice breeze. No, I'm in just a t-shirt. Uh, Dad uh, just went for a ride with Ron. He just got that car, a little Mercedes um, sport utility vehicle that we're bought for the business. It's a nice car. It is clean. Um, they just have to figure out the radio. There's a code or something. I mean, I said, hey, for what we're going to use it for, it doesn't need a radio if they can't figure out the radio. <laughs> you know, it's for every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. Well, Thursday if they need to. To get up, er to go early to the marina, pump tanks, come back. So, yeah. But I'll show you when they get back. The breeze is a little cool. Can you hear it? Can you hear the wind? The wind whipping. How does that little... There's a bird nest up in that tree and the trees just... And that thing just... That's the only one I see. It's that one. Oh! Our eagles. The bald eagles that I watch on the camera that Notre Dame has a, a camera up. They've had two of the babies hatch. One hatched on the 31st and one hatched on the 2nd, I think, of April? And I have not heard word if the third one has hatched yet or not. So, that's exciting. But okay, I'm gonna wait for them. They just got back. There's the little ride they got. Cute little thing. For the money. Keep for the money. Hey, Vanna White it! <laughs> Be like a Price is Right woman and... and <laughs> <laughs> he had to take Uncle Neil for a ride. But okay, I want to talk to them. Hello. It's Thursday. It is Thursday, isn't it? I think it is Thursday. Last night I got a text from my cousin Michelle, who's Ronnie's wife. And last night their big mason dog... He's the big Rottweiler. He's been in my video a few times. Um, he's nine pushing ten, and he passed away of a heart attack last night. They do believe it was a heart attack. So they took him up to their other property by the lake and was going to bury him up there. So sad. He was a big boy. He was like 100 and probably 130 pounds. He was a big boy. His head was like huge. Um, so I know they're... Uh, gonna have a sad while. Hmm. Um, dad just left. I don't know, it's about, what time is it? 11.35. He wants to go to River King and he wants to get some water softener salt and he wants to get some kitty litter and he wants to get some water, bottled water. I don't know what else he's gonna do. I said, well, I'll watch some of my shows on the DVR while you're gone. Already took care of business calls this morning. My main one was just calling and talking to the city here in Buchanan. And I think we've got it all ironed out on what needs to happen. So then I called, didn't call, I emailed the office telling them what needs to happen. Um, so we, we are smooth now. Other than I have to get to the city hall next week to pick up a key. Because one of the toilets... Uh, is now behind a gate, and so uh, they'll need a key for the gate. But okay, I'll be back later. Bye. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, it's showered, dressed out in the world, getting gas right now. Uh, then we're gonna go to Stan's Food Service. I've never been inside there, and I want to see what kind of seafood they might have if they have shrimp or crab legs, just to check it out. Um, and dad wants to get some spicy ketchup and, um, Stan's mustard, which is like a Belgian mustard. Uh, so yeah, it's only 42 degrees out tomorrow. It's not even supposed to get to 40 and we might have some snow. Welcome to Michigan. <laughs> Spring is not here yet. And then it's supposed to be a rainy week next week, but warmer. Thank goodness, but rainy. 
quite a few people out and about. What time is it? I think it's about noon time. Uh, so yeah. Talked to my cousin Michelle this morning and I'm like, how you doing? She's like, my whole routine is just, I'm not used to not having Mason because that, that was her routine, you know, get up in the morning and, and she said she had a whole routine with him and she said now she feels lost because she doesn't have that routine and they haven't had a dog. This will be the first time they haven't had a dog in their house and she said like 16 years because they've always had some sort of dog so I'm like yeah it sucks I know but all right we'll check out Stan. We're in here I got a set of ketchup mustard relish some Bavarian um oh gosh dog it mustard <laughs> I'll turn you around and show you here we are. This is just the food service place. I gotta kind of talk loud because there is music playing and I don't want to get copyright. Oh, I can get, do they have grape? No, they don't. Um, I can buy a popcorn machine, but all right, we'll go down and look around. You could just buy just a whole sheet of Rice Krispie Treats in one big <laughs> thing. <laughs> that just made me laugh. Okay. We have little things of chips. Where am I at here? Fritos. Oh, oh, what do we have down here? There's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, snacks. Snacks. It's big in there. They have everything. It's, you know, it's like a food service, like Gordon's. But it was fun going in there. I might even come back again before I party to get a few things. I don't know yet. Just pricing some stuff. Now here comes dad. Woo woo. Okay, these are the goodies. I got a couple of Belgian style mustards, some salt and pepper shakers for my party. Dad got salt to put in our cupboard. The picnic pack, ketchup, mustard, relish. And then of course the humper got himself some jalapeno ketchup and he got some sweet heat mixed pickles. And then down here I have a, a kitty. What are you doing? Huh? What? Are you talking? Are you talking? Kitty. She just messed up and look at me. Okay, I gotta get this stuff into my tote. Hola! Uh, we went to, I, I, we went for, out for a late lunch today. It's evening time now, but um, I asked Dad, you know, where would you just like to go? He goes, I got all Mexican. Like Mexican food sounds good. So we went to um, the new place that opened up in the town next to us, Nile. One of those very pretty colorful places inside. Really good. Uh, service was fast. They were on it. They were just running around like just running all over the place. Uh, saw somebody we knew there, Carol. She's one of the card players. She will not be at cards tonight because she has company coming over. And um, so I talked to her for a few and uh, I had a lunch special and so did dad for both of us to eat lunch it was like $18 we both had water and um, I had what was it called I cannot remember it was like a fried chicken burrito with enchiladas and cheese sauce on it with beans and rice and dad had the speedy gonzalez which is a, a taco and enchilada and he had beans he could choose between beans or rice. Is that done? I will flip that over in a minute. I'm heating up my dinner because it's, I don't even know what time it is now. But, um, which is a runza. I want to have that and watch some TV. Just got off the phone with my cousin Ronnie. I said, how you doing? He's like, man, the house is so quiet in the evenings. Um, I, I know they'll probably get another dog. He's like, he, they, Rottweilers are his favorite, but he, he doesn't think he could, he doesn't want another dog that big. He likes big dogs, but he doesn't want another dog that, because Mason, he had to pick up and get in the truck, and he was 130 pounds. He goes, I just can't see myself in five or six years picking up a 130 pound dog and put him into my pickup truck. So they might, he said, I do like labs, so they might look at labs. 
He's like, I'm gonna let Michelle, I'm gonna let Michelle pick it. So, we'll see what happens when it happens. Uh, he told me all what, what all had gone down and, um, the neighbors up at their other property had come out when they were burying Mason because they all loved him. Because he would wander the neighborhood and go visit everybody and he would get treats. <laughs> and, um... So, he was a neighborhood dog. Everybody loved him there. He was just a big, a big softy. Um, so, yeah. But, now, I'm going to check out this thing. Um, I'm, I, I took it out of the freezer a little while ago, but it's still kind of frozen. So, I'm doing the defrost function on the microwave, which I've rarely ever used. So, it's just push buttons and hope for the best. <laughs> and, uh... So let's see what happens. <laughs> At least now I don't have to... Whoa! Man, I really did almost drop you. <laughs> uh, I don't have to worry about the sun shining behind me because it's pitch dark outside. Uh, it's like 9 o'clock. Dad should be getting home pretty soon. Uh, I just had a little piece of cake. I gotta go rinse out my dish. Then I'm gonna be ready to lay down. Um... My gut has got cramps because you know woman time. Woo woo. That's what Mother Nature can give me for my 50th birthday. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> what else has happened? I talked to my cousin Barbara Jean a little while ago. She called. She was calling Dad back, but I told her every Friday Dad's at cards. So I talked to her for about a half an hour. And um, I think she's going to go up to her and see Aunt Jenny. And to visit her. Take her some puzzle books. Stuff like that. I said, well, when you get home, call your Uncle Neil and tell him how it went. And I said, we've blocked her <laughs> on the phone because she, all she does is... And while I was talking to Barb... And Jenny called me twice and called Barb once while we were talking. Because when she called the first time, I'm like, you're up next. She's going to call you here in a minute. And five minutes, she's like, yep, and he's trying to call me right now. <laughs> yeah. So, it used to be nice when she had a phone that had so many minutes. And then once she used them all, she had, we had, but now... Barb says she has an unlimited. She has unlimited minutes, which... I said, who was the brilliant person that got her a phone with unlimited minutes? <laughs> I need to talk to that person. But all right, I want to put all these clips together. I have no plans for the weekend other than to kind of hang out, watch the tubes, Netflix, um... Tomorrow, Dad's going to grill some steaks in the evening. He's getting up early to go meet friends for breakfast, like half an hour away. I'm like, well, go have fun. I will still be in bed when you leave. Because he'll leave about 8, he said. Because he's meeting them at 8.30. Uh, when we were, when we were out earlier at the, at the Mexican place, he was talking to Carol, the lady that we knew there, that was leaving, and... He's like, yeah, we're going to go out for breakfast in the morning. I looked at her. I'm like, no, there is no we. It's he. <laughs> but the people that dad's meeting, she knows also. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I hope you have a good weekend. Do anything exciting? Watch any good shows? Any good movies? Anybody been to a movie lately? I have not been into the movie theater since... You know, 2019. <laughs> so, okay, bye.